Welcome back to another video guys. Today I have a short video for you guys on how to start and manage a dedicated server in MX Bikes. I'm doing this video because I see there aren't a lot of people on YouTube actually doing a tutorial on how to do this me myself was questioning how to do it as well so i kind of had to ask around here and there but eventually i did get the answer to do it so i'm gonna spread the message and tell all of you guys how to do this as well i recently installed a equalizer for my mic i hope it sounds a lot better also my desktop background which you can see right now is pretty sick i got it from wallpaper engine and yeah all right, first thing you want to do is you want to open your browser. When you open your browser, you want to go to a website called mymxb.com. I will put the link in the description down below if it's possible. All right, the second thing you want to do is you want to go and log in if you did not make an account, make an account. All right, when you're logged in and you're on the mymxb page, all you want to do is go up here to rent your mxb server all right after you click that it will bring you to this little page called rent your mx bike server here you'll have to choose the server you want to buy and yes you do have to buy these dedicated servers they are not free but they are really easy setup for you to use so for server location you'll have to choose the one that's closest to you or the one that you're in for example, I use United States East Coast because that's closest to me, but these are all options depending on where you're from. Max players is the amount of players that can join the server. This is important because if you only take seven, you'll pay five euros a month, which is I believe about six or seven dollars. You guys will probably see these amounts in us dollar i don't know why it's in euros for me you could do 15 players which is about 750 euros a month i think that's about eight to ten dollars a month or you could also do 42 players which is about 10 euros or 11 to 12 dollars a month once you chose your preference you want to click rent now all right i skipped my payment and stuff but once you do your payment you could go to your account and go to subscription I have auto renew every month on off, but once your payment is complete, this is what you want to do. You want to go to the top of this page. You want to go to rent your MXB server and you want to select, you want to select web manager. Once you click that, it's going to bring you to this page over here and you want to click the region, which you just bought a server in. I bought mine US East. So I'm gonna click that all right guys when you're on this page it'll show you all the servers you have if you click the plus it'll tell you that you can only have one server per subscription which is fine because i already have mine running for the server configuration all you want to do is you want to put in your server name you want to put in a admin password which you should memorize because if you join a server with an admin password you could admin the server and basically tell which track or races are happening next while in mx bikes the max clients is 15 for me and you cannot go higher you can go lower but i would keep it on 15. max ping i would put on zero because people can have high ping and not be able to join so if you put it on zero it it'll just let everyone join for event you could make an event and stuff but um i would just not do that you could just put the bike categories that you would like in this server and also the tracks that you would like in this server for race you could also select open race or do quick races or something like that you could also disable collisions for deformation you could set your own deformation this is the player list where you could see all the players joined for automation there is a specific amount of time that you could put when your server restarts i have mine on 24 hours so every day it restarts once i also have these messages that appear every 15 minutes you could also change the timer when it appears these are messages like follow me on tiktok or subscribe to my youtube channel and i also have one for when the server is being restarted you could also put the weather and you also have hardcore settings which is like first person only no a limited tire sets once you did everything you wanted you have to click on this save icon here on the top left and then just this start button now your service online as you can see this is not red anymore it's green now with this website you also have a remote admin 
you could reset the server or do other kinds of stuff here shown but yeah guys that's how you make your own dedicated server on mx bikes make sure you guys like the video and maybe consider subscribing also comment if you have any questions or maybe you want to see me do another tutorial on something else but anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace